Hello everyone, welcome to IBDP English B Higher Level. Today I'm going to be giving a quick synopsis of the first unit that we're covering. Its title is Protecting the Planet or Sharing the Planet. As you guys already know, we should be aware of the term environment. Protecting the environment should be as important as protecting your own life. Because all things survive within their favorable zones of the environment, but the environment isn't something that can be neglected easily without caring for it. That's why this is a very important theme to cover before you go into the different text types for this year under paper one. So although the environment can continue to survive in its natural state, the IBDP program in this course wants you to consider how human intervention has caused excessive damage and destruction to many parts of the ecosystems. So we're not necessarily looking at things in a very or in a deep scientific manner, but we're really going to look at the effects and try to pose solutions to get you to use your critical thinking skills and have you, you know, engage in the inquiry process in terms of conducting research as to how this is relatable to your own environments and country. It's very important for us to protect our environment so that we can continue to live on this planet in a healthy and safe atmosphere. I'm going to start by going through our unit outline that can also be found in our Oxford textbook on page 177. So the theme, as mentioned, is sharing the planet. The subtopics within this unit are the environment, urban and rural environments, and meeting the challenge. The main question posed is, what environmental and social issues present challenges to the world, and how can these challenges be overcome? Some additional questions to consider throughout our discussions and exposure to different types of blog entries, news articles, um, videos are the following. What are environmental issues currently present? Uh, what, what environmental issues are currently present? Challenges to the world. What social issues? Okay our current challenges to the world. How can young people tackle environmental and social challenges? So this is where you would think of your own environment and compare it to something on a global level and see how that is affecting you on an individual level or on everyone around you, you know. We're going to look into environmental issues such as deforestation, energy production, pollution, global warming. You guys are familiar with these terms from last year, but in this unit, you're going to really be very fluent in addressing them in a more detailed manner so that you have things to say about them in your paper one responses. This is something that could be useful in um, writing an article, a blog post, guidelines specifically in this unit um, that target this theme as they are, you know, kind of pushing you to pose solutions to these global issue, issues as inquirers in this world. So you're going to choose two of these. And I want you to conduct an oral presentation of about three to four minutes, possibly. Um, and, you know, after doing that, I also want you to practice your writing skills in form of a blog post or a letter. So you'll get to choose. Those two text types were covered last year. So you'll have the option to practice that just so we can know that you have a solid ground in terms of mastering the conventions required. Of course, you, you're more than welcome to use the texts that are you know, embedded within the textbook for the units, but I also want you to read different examples of the text types, you know, through, you know, the sources that are, the resources, I'm sorry, that are attached to this unit when you guys do conduct research or want to enhance your um, understanding of these concepts. So the more you know, the better, the more you'll have to write. The communication skills that we're going to be pushing you to 
become fluent in or to acquire throughout this unit or refine, since you guys have already completed the first year of the IBDP program, are your listening skills. So receptive and productive. You guys are familiar with these two terms because one is used when we do our practice, our, um, you know, our uh, audio practices, and then you solve comprehension questions after, or you're asked to restate um, or summarize what was presented or said. And your productive is for you guys to also, you know, engage in these discussions and learn from one another when through our presentations and, you know, create a reflection that conveys your understanding of the topic or to produce an actual argument, um, you know, orally to prove that you've absorbed the uh, details and main claims made. Your oral and interactive skills are going to be used when you engage in discussions and presentations. Text types are reports and guidelines for this unit. You'll also use your research skills for practice presentations. Templates will be provided for drafting and planning stages as usual. So in this unit, you'll particularly find things for your um, paper one response for guidelines. There's a whole workbook on that, very similar to the set of instructions manual and the email manual that you guys received last year. Um, I really, I wanna highlight this one more time. I really want you guys to uh, create a student portfolio where you will you know, have the workbooks there in the manuals and an example of your edited or preliminary response for <coughs> your paper one prompts that are presented to you throughout this course. So make sure you collect them and keep them um, in a portfolio neatly because you probably want to refer to them um, at the end of the year during review. The last thing that I'm, I want to mention is the example excerpts and articles that are embedded within the unit. So you'll have a blog post, the world's six most pressing environmental issues, Love Canal, a brief history. So you're gonna be looking at different locations and how environmental factors have affected it and what you can do about them. And then 10 tips to keep your recycling clean and reusable. One thing, one activity that we might be engaging in is you know, you proposing guidelines for students on campus as to how they can keep, um, you know, recycling as a habit or how they can make sure that recycling is a habit on campus and what they can do to maintain that habit. Um, then we'll be exploring the United Nations development goals through a small article. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird is put here as it relates to the theme, but you're going to be practicing analyzing more of literature um, in this mini exercise. Then we're going to be looking at current issues in youth activism. This relates to CAS and the integration of not only environmental science, but you participating in creating solutions to these global issues. And that's all for this unit. If you have any questions or need to reach out, you have my email and you may definitely reach out to me in person in terms of accessing certain resources or addressing any concerns you have.